Hey everybody, it's Ryan, hop to it. Uh, just wanted to take a second and uh, talk to you a little bit about attic ventilation. Uh, this is the time of year in summertime when you hear ads on the radio uh, talking about attic fans. And I just want to uh, share a little insight and uh, why those may or may not be a good idea depending on your application. So um, just a little background. So attics are a, an enclosed uh, system and there's actually FHA requirements for how those are supposed to ventilate. So the equation there is um, For every 300 square feet of attic floor space, you're supposed to have one square foot of ventilation. So half of that ventilation would be uh, Like here, okay, where the heck's my hand would be here in your soffits. So this is called the lower ventilation uh, so this could be in soffits or it could be in uh, low mounted roof vents. Typically you see it in soffits. You can see on on uh, this house, it's uh, they have full soffit venting. Um, and then the other 50% of that square foot uh, should be uh, at the peak of the roof. So it could be either a gable vent like that, could be a uh, roof venting uh, high on the, on the ridge, which is the... The peak of the roof. Try and talk with my hands, and I only got one because the other one's holding the camera. Duh. Um, so uh, could be uh, through high-mounted high roof vents. It could be through continuous ridge venting, or it could be through uh, gable vents. So again, the equation there is for every 300 square feet of attic space, you need uh, one square foot of venting. So um, what attic fans do is they uh, tend to overload the lower venting um, because if you can imagine heat rises and uh, uh, starts at the bottom and goes up through the top and it's a kind of a continuous flow if the attic uh, ventilation is designed properly so when you put an attic fan in there it uh, has a tendency to, to overload lower venting on this house that may not be that much of an issue because there's continuous uh, soffit venting but if you have uh, you'll see a lot of times where when they do soffit venting they'll uh, do every third uh, panel and so what that does is that could actually create a vacuum inside of the attic if that house has an attic fan and it's turned on could create a vacuum because there's insufficient venting here at the bottom and could either uh, uh, draw let me back up so when that happens, usually what happens is it will pull uh, conditioned air from inside the home. So the drop in temperature that you're seeing in the attic is not because it's pulling in uh, outside air, which it is pulling in a bit, if the, um, but if that lower venting is restricted, what it's actually gonna do is it's gonna pull air, conditioned air from inside of the home up through around uh, light fixtures, uh, can lights, um, you know, just all the general kind of holes in the ceiling, gaps at walls and things like that. And it's going to pull that conditioned air up into the attic and send that out through the roof. So, yes, uh, they do uh, help with ventilation, but only if you have adequate lower ventilation. So um, that's kind of a brief synopsis. Uh, the argument that they... Um, extend roofing life uh, so that could be true um, but you don't want to do that at the expense of creating uh, other issues so anyhow that's my uh, that's my two cents uh, if you're getting an attic fan make sure you have adequate uh, soffit venting or low roof venting and uh, uh, go from there so uh, any questions, post them up. Feel free to reach out to me, 919-673-0555. Thank you.